Welcome to the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology, the IAOMT Fluoride Training Course. In this course, we'll review a bit of history, discuss a few of the high points of the scientific literature concerning water fluoridation, examine fluoridated versus non-fluoridated data, and uncover the toxic effects of water fluoridation. Community water fluoridation as a means of controlling tooth decay has been a deeply ingrained object of faith among the dental profession since the early 1950s. It has been called one of the top 10 public health measures of the 20th century by the Dental Division of the American Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. But what if the ongoing research fails to replicate the evidence for effectiveness claimed by the early foundational studies? And what if this has happened with many well-known clinical interventions? And what if the ongoing examination of exposure to inherently toxic elements like lead, mercury, and in this case fluoride, uncover adverse reactions at lower and lower concentrations? What happens to the safety factor for therapy or therapeutic ratio using such a toxic element? If the dose makes the poison and the poisonous dose is found to be much lower than previously thought, then the therapeutic ratio essentially disappears. This, we contend, is the case with water fluoridation today.